expectations yes because i i i loved bbn not for anything else but i loved it for the platform that it gave people it's it's arguably the biggest platform you know and being there is a blessing and going there for me was to showcase myself to the world and if i was going to make it to 90 million it was up to the viewers to decide that one person would definitely win that at the end of the day but not everybody so for me it was just showcasing myself and um, who i am to the world and yeah i think my expectations were met this was my fourth time auditioning for big brother yeah and the third time i was really close like i was stage close you know so um I already knew, I knew this is the biggest platform ever, you know, and I know that being on the platform is, is, it's, it's a lot of responsibility afterwards because you now have to be responsible, not just for yourself, but for a lot of people, for your fans, they look up to you and they follow every full step. So for me, I want to show that there are good people in the world. There are people who are positive. There are people who have good vibes, who don't, who don't have bad energy, and there are people who, who actually love have a good heart and that's for me is what i want I, I feel like i'm that person like i don't know what you think but i know that i'm a good person yeah so um and yeah that that was it for me just show who i am to the world and just being me regardless whatever oh yeah like for instance yeah i i'm out now and i go to my page or i'm on the internet i'll tell you i i have 98 percent positive comments about me there's a remaining 2%, which is, or maybe 1%, which is negative. I'll take that. For me, that's good because that's a reflection of what real life is. Not everybody will like you. There are people that will be like, I don't like this guy, this guy is fake or something. There are people that will resonate with you, even in real life, without even going for Big Brother. Like I said before, Big Brother is an actual social experiment. So when you go in there and you're expecting people to just go wild the first week, no, it's an actual social experiment of real life people. So for instance, they take you to a new environment and you meet new people, you would slowly begin to, uh, you know, take in the energy, understand people. And before you know it, boom, you're friends and you're chilling with everybody and you have fight with some people, you will not relate to some people. That is what Big Brother Ninja is. You know, it's just a social experiment that shows people who people really are. So if you go in there as being fake, trust me, before the end of the show, your fakeness will be to show. People will see through it because people are seeing you 24-7. You are not seeing yourself. We are seeing you. So for me, that's what it was for me. And that's what I believe the platform offers. Offers people to see life for what it is. Life in our game. Do you understand? You know, so when they play games, stage one day, stage two day, stage three day, there are, there are different stages. So when you fail in stage one, you go back. By the time you're coming back, to pa you will pass that stage one easily. So by any stage you get to in life and you fail, it's not actual failure. If you learn your lessons, you go back, plan, and by the time you get to that stage again, you pass it easily because you now understand what it means to, to be at that stage. So that's how I saw it. And yeah, I believe that I will make it and I made it. I'll tell you something for sure. Nobody in that place that made it into the house. Everybody made it based on who they are. I sat down with this person. In fact, we had sessions together where we listened to each other's story. And you, would, you can tell, I, I could actually look at somebody and I'll be like, ah, this person's story is similar to my story. My struggle is almost as similar to this person's story. So everybody there was meant to be there and everybody there was worth it. So nobody, I would believe, and I know for sure, paid their way through it. It's not, it's not even possible. I don't think there's an X factor because if you watch the show, everybody has a different vibe i always tell people i said it's it's like big brother goes out to look for superheroes yeah so you look at every character there every housemate as a different superhero with a different power nobody has the same power everybody has a different vibe that they bring and if you take out one housemate you will feel that this person has been taken out so even the quiet person has what he brings to the table that is quietness might just be his own the thing that they wanted then the person who seems to be loud my just my, that might just be what made that person but so you can't actually tell and say this is this is it so if you want to go for it go for it as you if you're a loud person go for it as a loud person if you're a quiet person go for it as a quiet person that might just be the reason why you get picked you get so that's what it is okay so um jay paul is an entertainer 
JPO and an, as an entertainer, there are different elements that make the compound. So there's the television guy, which I'm sure you guys saw. I was able to present plenty and, and show my oratory skills, show that I can do TV gigs, TV shows. I presented a lot of tasks, which I won. You know, I also showed my brain capacity that I'm smart. You know, I was able to win a lot of tasks. I was one of the highest winners of tasks in the house. I cannot tell you now. <laughs> okay, so I won about um, 4.5 million before I came out. So, <laughs> so um, that for me was gratification for the fact that yes, I can do it and I did it, right? So I showed my brain power, I showed that I'm smart and I, and I actually went there and I did that. Um, what else did I show about myself? I showed that I'm a cinematographer. I can handle cameras, I can shoot films. Before I went in there, I shot films. I shot, I have shot films that I've submitted for film festivals. So going in there and I did that and I partnered with top mobile networks and I won the task. That was a good feeling for me. It just means that by the time I come out, I am ready to be a reality TV star that has plenty components that make me. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So when you talk music, I did there. When you talk TV, television, I did there. When you talk radio, anything you want to talk, true, I did there. So I'm just the Jay-Z of the entertainment industry. <laughs> <laughs>
Santa Claus in the house. So he shared the condom to everybody because he wanted everybody to be safe. I will believe. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Cross was just being the cross guy that he is, the goofy guy. And he came and gave us, and I was laughing. I said, thank you, sir. You know, that kind of thing. So it was just all fun and games, really. So my top five will be, for me personally, I think Likoros, I think Cross, I think Angel, I think White Money, and I think Sasuke. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the man, J. Paul, Mr. Flames. You already know what time it is. Flames time, let's get it. All right, so I'm chilling out here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm chilling on the net NG. Don't talk, don't, everything the net, you understand? We do here, everything the net NG. Oh shit, let's get it. Boom. <laughs> 